Welcome to Future Meteorologist with Sean Ellison here. Today, we're going to talk about the Saffir Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale. It goes from Tropical Storm Force, which is not really a hurricane, but it goes to 40 miles an hour to all the way to 157 plus miles an hour. Okay, and we're going to talk about something that you need winds of at least 74 miles an hour to it to be classified as a hurricane and I'm gonna tell you all the wind scales for each category and how they might have and what storm surge a feat of storm surge first the tropical storm tropical storm have winds 40 to 73 miles an hour its storm surge is usually at sea level that means not really high storm surge with that but there has been some deaths reported with tropical storm like for the past Tropical Storm Allison. Uh, I don't know an exact estimate were killed, but it was in the double digits. And um, it happened 2001, I believe. Yeah, I think so. And um, tropical, st and usually that means that, that the storm. It usually means the wind speed and strength. Usually shingles, a few shingles rip off of well-constructed houses, mobile homes, what unanchored mobile homes can be seriously affected, and um, usually some signs top it over and branches top it over. Now we get into the hurricane actual part. Category 1, 74 miles an hour to 95 miles an hour. Usually has storm surge 3 to 5 feet. That is, in that wind... Um, un, un, unanchored mobile homes can topple over and be destroyed. Well anchored mobile homes can be seriously affected. Um, some pretty large trees can top. Some large trees, or small branches can topple over. And power outages are usually a couple hours to a couple of days. In category two, a 96 to 110 miles an hour. Now we're getting up there. A category two um, has storm surge about six to eight or six to nine feet, and um, that can um, destroy almost all mobile homes. It can sometimes expose your roof, and that's in a well-constructed home. It can sometimes expose the part of your roof. Power outages usually are a couple days to a couple weeks, and um, it's not a major hurricane yet, but we're going to get there. Now we're getting to the major hurricane category. Category 3 hurricanes and higher is when we get to major hurricanes. Category 3 is 111 to 129 miles an hour. Now we're getting into the major hurricane type. There's one scientist fear that one day might hit Houston in the near future. Storm surge with those are usually 10 to 12 feet. <clears throat> Hurricanes that strong can can rip like tile roofs off of well constructed houses. Think a category 3 hurricane and an EF2 tornado. They almost have the exact wind speed and, they, and when they start. Um, category 3 hurricane can topple large trees. All mobile homes are virtually destroyed. Power outages last from a few weeks to almost a month with category three winds. And storm surge is also when it starts to get it, it starts to get deadly. Cause there was a hurricane in 1938 that hit New England. And I'm not really good at death measure at, at, at how many of what death toll it was. It hit New England though. And um, that's it. Category four hurricane starts the category where you really need to look at your precautions because these are get deadly. Wind speeds with these are 130 to 155 miles an hour. The storm surges can be 15 plus feet, so so, I mean 14 to 15 feet. And these storms can rip. Exterior walls from your entire from your well constructed home. It can um, 
all trees except the hardiest of trees can be um, uprooted and so snapped and like if you're near the coast you definitely are should evacuate because the storm surges get really high and in 2004 I believe a category 4 name stormed Hurricane Charlie roared through Florida and that one only killed about it killed 50, it killed 35 people in total, 15 direct deaths, 20 indirect deaths, or oh, I'm not sure if it switched. Now, Category 5 is the highest. A Category 5 hurricane is anything above 155 miles an hour winds. Storm surges with these can be 20 plus. Storms here, mo a well-constructed house can be leveled to the ground, but maybe just maybe one or two walls standing. That's why I see it in category five winds. Um, a whole a whole lot of destruction. Oh yeah, in the category four hurricane, the power outages can be anywhere from a few weeks to a few months. Now category five. Category five power outages can be can last a few months at, on end. And total water loss or contamination is possible in with category four winds as well. And we're also a category four winds. Category four winds and category five winds. Most of the area can be uninhabitable for a few weeks or a few months until they get all the power back on and all the trees cleared from the ground. And in those winds, the place will like a war zone. Like you just been to war. And um the damages from each category, I'ma go back. A category one. Very dangerous winds will produce some damage. Category 2 winds. Extremely dangerous winds will produce ex ex extensive damage. Category 3 winds. Devastating damage would occur. And Category 4 and Category 5 winds. Catastrophic damage would occur. The highest, hurric the highest hurricane I ever went through probably had winds of 60 to 70 miles an hour. So I haven't even been through a hurricane yet. But... I'm in Houston, and if I stay in Houston, I most likely will. We got Hurricane Bill like in like a few months ago, Tropical Storm Bill, but we barely got any wind. We actually barely got any rain at all. But anyways, that's the scale, the wind, and the storm surge of all the types of hurricanes. I'll see you guys later for the next hurricane video. Stay tuned.